Welcome to ABC 31 News Tonight. I'm Scott Beadle. The votes are tallied and we have the results for Saturday's election. That is our big story on this Monday night. John Schroeder handily defeated his Democratic opponent to become the next treasurer of Louisiana, a post that he'll hold for at least the next two years. That's because it's an incomplete term made vacant when John Kennedy went to the U.S. Senate. Schroeder is a former state representative from the Covington and Western St. Tammany area. He had been a real estate developer. In Rapids Parish, voters were not in much of a giving mood, voting no on a road and school district, as well as a proposal to rededicate a tax sales tax in LeCount and to appoint the town marshal in Boyce. But the city of Alexandria did approve a property tax renewal, which funds city governments and provides capital projects. Voter turnout statewide and in Rapids Parish was only in the single digits. A grand deputy arrests an Arkansas woman after he says she was driving recklessly with a small child in her car. 41-year-old Althea Nicole Dukes is charged with possession of drugs, no child restraints, and possession of an open bottle of vodka in the vehicle. Troop I of the state police has a new commander. He's Captain Wayne Vidring, a native of Evangeline Parish, where he now lives. The eight parish area includes Evangeline and St. Landry Parishes near central Louisiana. We've had a really nice start to our holiday week. Let's check in now with meteorologist Kim Walker with the first look at your forecast. It's been a definitely a quiet start to our week, but a little bit on the chilly side with temperatures in the 50s for the most part. But we're going to warm up as we head into tomorrow, starting off with mostly clear conditions. Temperatures on the cold side, 38 degrees. So you're going to have to bundle up if you are heading out early in the day. By noon, though, we should be up to around 61 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Our high will be around 68 degrees before we drop back down to around 66 at 5 o'clock with partly cloudy skies. And then we're going to continue to see nice weather as we head into your Wednesday, but then come Thanksgiving, it looks like we are going to see those temperatures cool down a little bit. We'll talk more about that forecast coming up in just a little bit. All right, thank you very much, Kim. The holidays are already shining brightly in Natchitoches. ABC 31 Shar Thomas was there when the famous light show came on. It's that time of year again for bright lights, parades, and holiday cheer in the city of Natchitoches. Saturday evening kicked off turn of the holidays on the banks of Cane River Lake in downtown Natchitoches, and this year is bigger and better than last year with a few new amenities. Uh, it's just grown. There's a new stage. It's twice as big now. There's an amphitheater. There's a promenade boardwalk all along the river. A lot of landscaping. All of our stairs are now handicap uh, compliant and it's just a huge project and we're so proud of it. And we just, I just tell people, if you hadn't been to Natchez in a while, come, come back and see us and see what's been going on while you've been away because it's really improved what's going to be an experience for the holiday season. Over 300,000 Christmas lights and more than 100 riverbank set pieces are on every night at dusk through January 6th. Every year, the city attracts thousands of people throughout South Louisiana with their special Christmas festival and tax-free weekend for shoppers. Out-of-towners enjoy the lights, but most of all, it's a chance to spend time with their families. Well, we're from West Monroe, so we enjoy the parade and things like that. And we go and do a lot of things with our grandbaby and get out and just socialize. The purpose of the Holiday Trail of Lights is to promote economic development through tourism, which includes Shreveport de Bossier, Minden, Monroe, Natchitoches, and Alexandria, Pineville. To keep up with the 45 days of holiday festivities, visit www.nagadishchristmas.com backslash schedule. Happy Holidays in Nagadish, Char Thomas, ABC 31 News. Saturday morning, the United Missionary Baptist Association brightened up the community with some free Thanksgiving meals. Volunteers and Reverend Ford Kurtz handed out plates and sodas for people in the community to show them they're loved. The feeding started at 10 and didn't end until they were just out of food. The UMB will also host several holiday events given back to the community during Thanksgiving and Christmas. For more information, you can visit their Facebook page. Southern Lake Communications and the Food Bank of Central Louisiana have partnered once again with schools from six surrounding parishes for the Southern Link Connecting Those in Need food drive. 
this is the 11th year that Sunlink has partnered with us, and I can't even, I would try to guess at the amount of food that they've, that they've raised over the 10 years, and I'm sure I'd get it wrong, but many years it's between 75,000, 100,000 pounds of food. Um, so this is one of those drives that makes a huge difference in the communities. So we pick up the food from the schools, we get it weighed up, and we distribute it the day we pick it up in that parish. You can visit the Food Bank of Central Louisiana website for more information on the food drive. The Impella, the world's smallest heart pump, was successfully implanted by cardiologists at Rapids Regional Medical Center in early October. Today, the Impella Mobile Learning Lab was on hand at the hospital to help train physicians, cath lab staff, and nurses. It's designed to rest the heart during high-risk coronary intervention procedures to reduce complications during and after the procedure. ABC 31 KLAX, the exclusive provider of ABC programming in Central Louisiana. We are the only station where you can watch new, first-run ABC programs like Dancing with the Stars, Designated Survivor, Strike the Enemy, Grey's Anatomy, Grey's Can Deliver. Damn right. Hi, I'm Michael Bailey. Call me at the number on the screen. See how easy and affordable television advertising can be. Welcome back, everyone. Temperatures today were just a little bit cooler than they were yesterday and about six degrees cooler than normal. Uh, so about four degrees warmer, or I should say cooler, than this time yesterday. But if you take a look just to our south, it was a little bit warmer in Lafayette, but cooler in Lake Charles than 24 hours ago. Currently, it's 51 degrees over Alexandria, Leesville, uh, 52 degrees, 54 in Lake Charles and Lafayette, around 54 as well, but cooler in Natchez at four. 47 degrees and we are going to see though those temperatures plummet as we make our way into the overnight and that's because of the dry air that's in place and then we have a cold front that will come through that will bring the cooler air back as we make our way toward Thanksgiving but if you're going to be traveling across the region it looks like it's going to be pretty nice as we make our way to the next uh, 24 to 36 hours it's going to be pretty quiet however once this cold front comes through it may uh, the winds may pick up a little bit and it's going to be those temperatures will be dropping so we're going to see a cool Thanksgiving. We'll take a look at that forecast in just a little bit but here's a look at your headlines tomorrow expect increasing clouds but it will be a little bit warmer and then we're going to stay with mainly sunny conditions through Wednesday and also into your Thanksgiving but temperatures will be cooling down and then we're going to see a return of sunshine and warm conditions by the end of the week but as we head into tonight it's going to be pretty cold out there temperatures will be plunging down to around 37 degrees in Alexandria. We're looking at lows around 39 degrees in Otis and also in Boyce and Koufax around 37 degrees. Winds will be light, partly cloudy skies this evening. Tomorrow, expect partly cloudy skies, increasing clouds during the day. Winds will be light coming in from the east-southeast at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Our high will be around 68 degrees, 68 also in Boyce. Uh, in Oak Grove, look for highs around 66 degrees. So you notice those temperatures will be just about normal for this time of year. Then we start to cool down with that cold front coming through. Patchy clouds, it will be breezy on your Wednesday. Day, temperatures around 63 degrees, still not bad, but then we drop down to around 31 degrees. So that's what we're going to start off with on your Thanksgiving day. And then our high will be around 60 degrees with plenty of sunshine. As we head toward the end of the week, though, we are expecting the dry weather to continue, but we're going to see a gradual warming toward the weekend. So 68 degrees, lots of sunshine for your Friday, climbing into the mid-70s on Saturday, and we're going to stay with the sunshine early next week. But temperatures will be a tad cooler, but just about normal for this uh, time of year. 69 on Sunday and 68 degrees on Monday with plenty of sunshine. That's a look at your forecast, Scott. All right. Thank you, Kim. Your dog might be your best friend, but might it also be your best medicine? With more, here's Lana Zach. If you want to know how long you'll live, you may want to ask yourself these questions. How's your diet? Do you exercise, drink, smoke, and how's your dog? A major study from Sweden out today tells us that Fido, Rover, and Spot aren't just pets. They may be ways to live longer. Researchers find that owning a dog is significantly associated with a decreased chance of dying. 
They analyze the health records of every single dog owner in Sweden, even breaking down the risk of death by breed. It seems that dogs that need more walking could add more years to their humans' lives. Retrievers and pointers did the best. The authors can't say why dog owners live longer. It may be that dog owners exercise more and that dogs lower stress and give them more social interactions. Of course, it could also be that people who want to own a dog are healthier for some other reason. But with over 3.4 million people in the study, there's no bones about it. Owning a dog predicts you will live longer. And for all you cat owners, I'm sorry, but the researchers haven't looked into that just yet. But there is concern about another pet. An outbreak of salmonella has been linked to pet turtles. The CDC reports 66 people across the country have fallen ill since the outbreak began back in March. More than a third of those sickened are children. The FDA banned selling turtles with shells less than four inches back in the 70s because they're often linked to salmonella. But turtles of any size can carry the bacteria. Coming up, we'll be introduced to the new head football coach at Northwestern State. Hi everybody, this is the voice of the Tigers, Jim Hawthorne, inviting you to watch Inside LSU Football, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors on this affiliate of the LSU Sports Television Network every week during the season. We'll have all the highlights, exclusive locker room access you won't see anywhere else, and features that will give you the inside story on your Fighting Tigers football team. Inside LSU Football, join us Sundays at 10 on KLAX-TV. Brought to you in part by Take 5 Oil Change. Good evening, everyone. I'm Nick Frank. The NSU football team closed out their season on the best possible note with a win over Stephen F. Austin in the battle for Chief Cato. Now, this, Jay Thomas announced that it would be his final game with the Demons. And today, NSU now is hiring a former quarterback, Brad Laird, as the next man in charge. The way we ended the season last year, uh, winning three out of four games in November, it's, it's just an exciting time for everybody to come together. Uh, to bring this football team to the heights that, that we want to make sure it is on a year to year basis. And that's competing for championships uh, on and off the field, academically and athletically. NSU senior Peyton Guidry hauled down a career high number of ball carriers in his final collegiate game and was named the Stats LSE National Defensive Player of the Week. Guidry made 18 tackles, three and a half for loss, and added an interception. The senior led the team in tackles, sacks, interceptions and forced fumbles this season. Well, we are just about out of time. So thanks for watching ABC 31 News. And have a great night. Alex Winter Fett kicks off November 30th in downtown Alexandria. Enjoy ice skating, Santa, snow, live music and much more for the whole family. Join hundreds of runners, walkers, and prancers for the Ugly Sweater 5K. Come to downtown Alexandria December 2nd and support the United Way of Central Louisiana. Kansas City Southern's Holiday Express train rolls into Pineville December 4th. Bring the kids to see Rudy carrying Santa's sleigh, the Elves Workshop, and the Reindeer Stable. Enjoy Christmas fun that's free and open to the public. The Repeat Symphony Orchestra is back for their annual concert of sounds for the season. Enjoy some holiday cheer Sunday, December 3rd in downtown Alexandria. For more community events, visit us on Facebook or at klaxtv.com.